Eric and Eric here, Mosky Homebrew, and we have upgrades to our bowl, bowl tap. bottle filler. Bottle filler. Counter pressure. Coming up next. So Bull sent us a discount code for us and our viewers to use in the future. Yep, you can check it out on our website. The link is gonna be in the description below. Eric and Eric here, Mosky Homebrew, and today we are telling you about some upgrades we got for our Bull counter pressure bottle filler. Thank you, Bull, uh, for sending the accessories mm -hmm. uh, to our counter pressure filler. So we got the, what's this called? G connector. G connector. It is a flow control spout, which you can actually, so then you can use your ITAP as an actual faucet with flow control. Pretty handy. And then you can also take the tip off of it. So if you're filling just a glass of beer, flow control, take the tip off. Uh, and now you can do like growlers, film from the bottom. That's the G connector and its accessories. A little wand for you, wand action. Then Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's put this back to normal. Uh, you want to talk about the new and improved bottle holder? Yeah. So uh, the old one. So this is the new one. Um, it's got a, I assume, stainless stainless steel plate on the bottom of it instead of the. Uh, it's like sort of a clear Red plastic uh, plastic insert that goes in the bottom. The metal insert seems to have a better hold on the bottle. I think I just one concern I would have is it's metal against glass. So, yeah. you know, that's one downside, but as long as you're careful, it should be fine. Definitely a nice upgrade just because, you know, can't really go wrong with stainless. Nope. That and the, the previous one that we had, the plastic rubber would probably wear out after a while, I would assume. Over time, it's gonna wear out. If you use it a lot, yeah. yeah. So this is a longer solution yeah. to that. Back to the G connector in the actual spout here. We'll go ahead and put it on, put put the G on. So that's what, that is the, the behemoth. That's your footprint right there. Of uh, your filler at this point. Mm -hmm. Eric and I both have these ITAP bottlers, right? We both use them regularly. I had mine mounted to my keyser and probably will still continue to have it mounted with my keyser with just these draping down the front. This G connector though, from our keyser standpoint, is just a behemoth of a thing now. It is very nice that, I mean, for $100 or I believe it's $100 that they charge for this. I mean, to have a flow control and be able to use this now as a as a tap as instead a tap of a, le a standalone counter pressure bottle filler. Yeah. Like you can actually have multiple uses out of it now. Right. That's one upside to it. Yes. And then if I ever wanted, if I had a beer on tap, you know, at that point, I'm ready to fill a bottle of beer. Yeah. And it's just that simple. Um, the only downside, like we talked about, is this thing's huge. It's huge. <laughs> it's really big. It's really big. It's really nice. It's just big. So I don't know if that, so unless you have a setup like me or you, say you have like a kegerator and it's like a legit kegerator, like yeah. with a tower, you ain't sticking something like that on no. there. No, yeah. if you have a kegerator or something, you're not gonna have enough room to probably put up glass. I mean, if your post is up there, you're already down there. It's one of those things where you're gonna have to like droop down. Guess you can put a shot glass under there. You, yeah, I mean, you can figure something out. <laughs> But um, yeah, you, if you're installing these, you plan to use them. Make sure you have enough room be below them mm -hmm. to add this at the very minimum, because it is pretty useful and it makes it pretty handy. Um, it's just rather large. That's coming from a homebrew standpoint. Yeah, and it, I think their market for this bowl filler, and I'm getting tangled here with my mic. The market for this bowl filler is a lot of uh, breweries. It's commercial. Commercial, yeah. because at that point, from a brewery standpoint, and the best thing that you could do is be able to offer a four pack or just a few bottles, even singles at that point, or at this for point, sale right out your door. Yeah, and at this point now, a growler. You could do a growler. Yep. Um, and as far as timing goes, you don't have to prepackage anything and then also have refrigerator space for all that beer. Yep. It's very versatile and uh, very good from the standpoint of, you know, maybe small tap houses or breweries. Yep. So. I think that's what they were aiming towards, but for a homebrew standpoint, that's sort of our opinion on the new, you it's know, a, it's attachments. It's a big guy. Yeah, it, it's it a big is guy. useful. I mean, very useful. Yes. Growlers, glasses, 
and bottles mm -hmm. all in one. But you also have a Blickman beer gun, and I also have a counter pressure filler. Yep. Which neither of us use. We use this as a bottle filler. Because it's convenient. It is convenient. That's why we use it. The best thing about this thing is it's convenient to use. Yep. If you have it set up, say so just had somebody come over to the house and be like, hey, can I have some of those? Mm -hmm. And I literally filled up four bottles in under 10 minutes. Could you imagine setting up your Blickman beer gun? Hell <laughs> no. So Hell no. I'd be like, no, you're not getting any of this. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think about the bowl. If you've used it, if you got any questions about it, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. We'll be happy to answer them. So that's our review on the bowl accessories. Thank you, Bull, for sending us those. If you guys like this video, give it a like, thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.